For what purpose does the gentleman from Illinois seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 4631 as amended. Clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 4631, a bill to amend Title V, United States Code, to institute spending limits and transparency requirements for federal conference and travel expenditures and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Walsh, and the gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Clay, each will control 20 minutes, and the chair now recognizes the gentleman from Illinois. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. I ask, unanimous, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days within which to revise and extend the remarks and include extraneous material on the bill under consideration. Without objection, and the gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, the Government Spending Accountability Act, or GSA Act, will end the days of unnecessary boondoggles and lavish trips for federal bureaucrats. I think we're all aware of GSA's recent escapades in Las Vegas where the agency paid more than $44 a head for breakfast, $7 in sushi at a networking reception, and $75,000 to build bicycles. I think we can all agree that all of this spending is outrageous and unacceptable. We can't continue to ask hardworking taxpayers to tighten their belts and make tough decisions when for years the GSA and other federal agencies have thrown away those taxpayer dollars on lavish conferences like this. Well, the days of wasting taxpayer dollars on fancy junkets for government bureaucrats should soon be over. I introduced the GSA Act because as stewards of taxpayer dollars, it is our responsibility to ensure that they are not wasted on lavish conferences and posh junkets. The GSA Act requires that every quarter federal agencies publish an open report that details every conference for which the agency paid travel and expenses. The bill also limits the amount that an agency can spend on any one conference to $500,000 and on travel annually to 70% of the amount the agency spent on travel in 2010. I would like to thank Chairman Issa, Ranking Member Cummings, and my friends across the aisle for joining me in this effort. The bipartisanship displayed here shows what Congress can do, can accomplish, when both parties come together to tackle reckless spending. We need to come together to fix Washington and start cultivating some respect for hard-earned taxpayer dollars. The GSA Act will help change the culture of waste in Washington and put us on a path to sustainable future for our children and grandchildren. Please join me in standing up for taxpayers. I support this measure, measure and urge its adoption, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Illinois reserves